7th, I was just talking to my friend Dylan, you know, about how I used to play a lot of guitar when I was in high school, and I just thought, like, maybe I should just try picking it back up again. I haven't played in, like, months, but I'm just, like, giving it a go, trying to get back into playing, and it's a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun and how much I love playing the guitar. Maybe you'll see some of that in this vlog. Woo, lucky you! the day off of work maybe i'm gonna read but i don't know i mean like i just said in my wrap-up video i kind of want to take a break from reading just because i'm feeling kind of burnt out and like tired of it so i don't know maybe i'll like watch something on netflix instead or i don't know what do i do when i don't read i don't know so tonight it's gonna be a great night though because my sister gets off at work later and then we're gonna go and see the new ready player one movie and i'm so freaking excited for it because i loved this book when i read it last month and i cannot wait to see this movie it's gonna be so lit it's gonna be so much fun hey babies Ooh. <laughs> she's going full dog mode mm. <laughs> good girls <laughs> what's that um, why did my fucking paper come out <laughs> You all out? No, I have three left. I have four. Tomorrow, I officially start university. And I'm kind of freaking out. I don't, like, feel ready. And I don't... It's just very nerve-wracking. So today, to prepare for tomorrow, I just... I'm planning on going to where my sister works. She works at this retail store. And I want to get, like, a new outfit so that I feel comfortable and confident tomorrow and i still have to go to target to like get a new notebook because i don't have any notebooks that aren't used completely from like last quarter so i still need to get a new notebook and i don't know i'm just really nervous for tomorrow i just got home from my first day at western it was fucking awesome and so great and so much better than i was expecting it to be and i'm so fucking relieved because i've honestly been so stressed about this for like the last month and it's just such a relief to finally be like in the classes and starting the classes and just doing it you know so this quarter i'm only taking two classes and i'm taking english 202 and english 370 one of them is just like a secondary english course and then the second one is an introduction to language which is a requirement for all english majors at this school i'm so happy when i'm in english classes like i just feel like this is what i'm supposed to be doing you know like whenever i'm in those classes i just feel so inspired and i've just always had a really strong passion for english and i've just been like i guess my main stress in life lately has been debating whether or not i should pursue an english degree just because i'm like afraid of my like possible career options for the future because you know i've heard from so many people being like an english degree is a waste of money you're not gonna get a good job it's not gonna pay good Whatever, but like I just feel like this is my calling and this is what I'm supposed to be doing like English is just what I love It's what I'm the most passionate about out of anything and I just love it every time I'm in English classes I love it for my first class for English 202, we're just supposed to be reading these books that he's assigned for the quarter and having huge class discussions about them and then writing three to five page papers on them, which is like something I could so easily do. Like it's something that I love to do. And the first book that we're assigned to read for the quarter is The Girl With All The Gifts, which is a book that I've been wanting to read for years and I just never got around to it. And so I'm so excited that I never got around to it so I can read it for the first time in this class. Hello. <laughs> She's just jealous because I'm not giving her attention. First day went incredibly well. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm going to try and finish a Big Little Lies. I'm about 300 pages into it and it's like 450 pages or so. I don't have that much left so I want to finish it. And I have been 
loving the hell out of this book. I've been highlighting like crazy and I just freaking love it. Like I love the show and so I knew I was going to love it, but I didn't think I would love it as much as I am. And I've also been taking notes this time as I've been reading, which isn't something that I normally do when I read a book, but like I've been taking notes um, for every day that I've read now that I'm not trying to finish a book in one day while I'm reading and writing what I like about it and different like plot points that I want to remember about and I'm just like loving it so much so far and I'm writing in the book too with along with the highlights and stuff and uh, I'm just loving it so much so hopefully I'll be finishing this now. <laughs> Finish Big Little Lies. It was so fucking good. I gave it five stars. I like really, really, really loved it. And I finished writing my notes on it. I think this is something I wanna do for more of the books I read now to like write notes, just like little updates about how I'm feeling about it. But like, Jesus Christ, this was so good. Things that this book has to say about like in regards to like feminism and rape culture and domestic violence, like it's just so powerful. And it was so fucking good. So I'm so glad I read this. Maybe this book will be the thing that pulls me out of this reading slump thing that I'm in. And now I'm currently reading All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson. So I read a little bit of it last night. So I just wrote out my thoughts about it so far. And I have a prediction of what I'm thinking so far. So we'll see if I'm correct. But I'm just really excited about this. Because I've always wanted to like have a journal where I kind of like write my ideas about books while I'm reading it and all that. And I've never actually like done it before. So I'm kind of like really into this. What's up? April 6th. Today's Friday. And I just got this iced... Oh, it's, called, it's an iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato. And it's so good. <laughs> Anyways... So yesterday, yesterday I had my second day of classes at Western. I had to take the bus system, you know, because I there was no parking on campus. So now I have to take the bus for this entire quarter, which kind of sucks, but you know. Vlogging? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday. Hello, derp. Yesterday I took the buses and I took the wrong fucking bus. I took the wrong bus. Mm. And then I ended up not where I was supposed to be and it took like an hour to get back to where I was supposed to be. I'm just gonna drop out. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, lol. But yeah, so yesterday was stressful and I took the wrong bus and it was terrifying, but now I think I've got it more figured out, hopefully. It's so embarrassing. Do you want a bagel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now we're gonna go make bagels, I guess. So. Want toast? Yes, please. Okay. Sorry, it was so zoomed in before. I didn't realize it was so zoomed in. But um, as far as a reading update goes, I'm almost finished reading All the Beautiful Eyes by Peter Swanson. It's so freaking good. I just, I love Peter Swanson's writing. I love his thrillers. They're always like the best and they're so exciting and full of plot twists. And it's just so good. I'm really enjoying myself. I hope to finish it today. And, and I forgot to mention that last night we saw A Quiet Place in theaters and like, holy fuck, it was so good. I'm still thinking about it. It was easily like 10 out of 10, amazing. Like it was scary, but it was also heartwarming and I like cried. Like I sobbed at the end of this movie and like John and Emily were so cute and so perfect and the directing was perfect and just, uh, I loved it. So it's still Friday, it's the afternoon now and I just wanted to do a quick update because I finished reading All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson and it was so freaking good and it was like freaking crazy and all the characters are so fucked up but it's like exactly what I want from a Peter Swanson book, you know? Sorry, Phoenix has an upset tummy. She's not feeling good. She threw up twice earlier today. Anyways, I finally got my textbook for my class in the mail, which is something I think people don't normally get excited about, but I'm kind of excited about it. I got two books in the mail today. I got Fahrenheit 451 because I've been wanting to read this for a long time. It's a classic and I've never read it. And so I'm finally gonna be able to read this. And I also got The Girl With All The Gifts, which is actually a required book that I'm supposed to read for my English 202 class, which is the coolest thing ever. This English 202 class is already my favorite thing ever because it's making me pick up books that are on my TBR. So cool, I can't wait. Probably gonna start reading this this weekend because I have to read up to page like 120 something by Tuesday, so. You feeling a little bit better, huh? You're back to biting. So that's a good sign, I guess. She don't. <laughs> Bean. This weekend has been really wild. By wild, I mean I've just been working like a lot. <laughs> and so I worked Friday night and then I worked all day Saturday and then I worked early this morning on Sunday and now it's currently Sunday night. I'm drinking my third 
iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato in three days. Like, I've had one of these every single day. I'm so obsessed. Oh my god, they're so good. <sighs> it's so fucking good. Today, I'm gonna do some homework. And by homework, I mean I'm gonna start the girl with all the gifts. <laughs> Look at what I just got in the mail. <gasps> I just got this huge box in the mail from Simon and Schuster, and I was like, what the heck is gonna be in this? And then it was just like a ton of paper, and this book was like hiding underneath there. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, it's Christina Lauren's new freaking book. I'm tripping. Right now, I'm tripping. I was not expecting to get this. Oh my god. This is like the best surprise. Holy shit. Thank you to Simon and Schuster. I am dead. This just made my day. I just made breakfast and I have to get started studying on this in introduction to language. I have to read a couple chapters and answer some questions and stuff. I just wanted to talk about like last night, like late last night, I couldn't sleep. And so I started reading this book called Men Explain Things to Me. And it's just really like weighing heavy on my mind like thinking about all of these things that this book is pointing out to me. This is a really good feminist non-fiction book and I have wanted to read it for a while and I just never got around to it so I started reading the first few chapters last night and like some of these things are just so scary and awful to think about. Women worldwide ages 15 through 44 are more likely to die or be maimed because of male violence than because of cancer, malaria, war, and traffic accidents combined. What the fuck? And it says, in the United States, where there is a reported rape every 6.2 minutes, and one in five women will be raped in her lifetime in the United States. Pointing out a lot of really terrible problems in our society, and I really like this one quote that says, it says, violence doesn't have a race, a class, a religion, or a nationality, but it does have a gender. Because she was talking about how you would never hear in the news about all of these females gangbanging this guy. Of the 62 mass shootings in the United States in three decades, only one was by a woman. And of the people in a prison in the United States, 93.5% are not women. It's pointing out a lot of very important things that I think a lot of women think about. That this book is so important and it's already, like, I'm only 25 pages into it and I can't stop thinking about the things that it's brought up and it's just very, very powerful stuff. It's currently fucking pouring outside and I have to go catch my fucking bus, so, um... How exciting! I kinda hate my life right now. Ugh. Hello again. My school day is over. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and, um, I almost took the wrong bus again. I don't know, I think I'm making it more confusing than it actually is, but almost caught the wrong bus, caught myself, and got on the right bus this time, so it was all good. And uh, yeah, today my classes were like super interesting. We were talking about Girl With All The Gifts, which is like our current read in that class, and the entire class was like discussion about it, and it was very interesting and very informative. And in my second class, we were learning all about phonetics, and I'm like really terrible at it. It's just really difficult for me to do for some reason. <laughs> so it's definitely gonna be a learning process, but you know, other than that, classes were awesome. And now I have to go pick up my sister from her work because we carpooled today. And then we're gonna go out to dinner and it's gonna be lit. <laughs> This one's that new Casey Musgraves.
is an attempt at that uh, La La Land. Saturday afternoon and you know of course I went to Starbucks again because I'm addicted I have to leave for work in like 10 minutes I wanted to say that I've been catching up on the girl with all the gifts because I have to read this for class and I'm kind of stressing now because my paper on this book is due on Thursday and like I need to finish this and we're supposed to be only reading to page like 340 before Tuesday but like I want to finish it before Tuesday so I can start on my freaking paper our paper we have to pick a trope that's in the book and then talk about why the trope is so popular in apocalypse fiction and then like connect it to the world and connect it to other media and i'm just kind of stressing because i don't know what i'm gonna write about yet and i'm just like thinking about all the different tropes that are in apocalypse fiction and just so many you know and i don't know how i'm gonna connect it to the world and stuff and uh, i'm just kind of nervous about writing this paper and it's like I have a ton of other homework that I have to get to this weekend before Tuesday and I'm working like every day this weekend so I'm just kind of a little bit stressed and I'm like I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get all of this done. That's my current situation. And then yeah, there's a sleeping puppy. I just got an email from the library saying that they aren't gonna hire me and I'm not even gonna get an interview so it's just great. It really like bums me out you know because like even for the most basic, like, library job, I can't get hired for it. Like, I don't know what the fuck, like, why, you know? Like, and I'm eager about it. I go down there and I talk to the people. I'm not, like, I just don't understand. Like, and it sucks because, like, I'm currently going to school for an English degree. And it's, like, I might potentially in the future want to get a library science degree. And I can't even get hired for like the most basic library job. Like it's just embarrassing. The whole point of going to college is to get a job afterwards, right? And it's like, I can't even get a part-time job at the library. It's just very upsetting. So, um, just got back from dinner and Phoenix got in my room and fucking destroyed two of my books and my freaking journal that I've been writing in all year. Like I haven't even read. This is Christina Lauren's new book that I was so fucking excited about. And like what the fuck? And like look, this is this is the Oracle year. That's my like book of the month pick. Like what the fuck is this? She tore the cover to absolute shreds. I am just like what the fuck dude. And not to mention like this fucking chapstick that she destroyed and there's like my fucking pen in here somewhere and Oh my god, I was literally planning on starting this tomorrow, and what the fuck, dude. I'm so freaking salty right now. This is page 25, I can't even, like, I can't even, like, where are all the other pages? Ugh. Freaking disaster. Today is just not my day, dude. Still morning the books. Okay, it's like, I normally wouldn't make such a big deal about this shit, but, like, I was literally, so, I was gonna take this to campus tomorrow to start reading it, like, and I was so excited. Like, you guys saw earlier in this vlog how excited I was about getting this book. So this just kind of is fucking, like, devastating to me, and I know it's, like, not that big of a deal, but, like, ugh, like, today is just not my day. It's, like, first I got rejected from the library, and now my fucking books are destroyed, so... I feel like a crazy person, like, I just want to, like, try to put all these pieces back together and just tape it all up. <sighs> Here's some coffee. <laughs> Starbucks is always the answer to your, your your problems. It just is. But I think I'm gonna try to tape it back together. <laughs> I actually managed to somehow salvage the Oracle year a little bit. I just sat there like a nerd and taped it all back together. And I think it's okay. I mean, this part's still completely torn. That part is still totally torn, but other than that found little bitty pieces and just taped them all together. But unfortunately, Love and Other Words is completely destroyed and the first 25 pages are missing and the last 25 pages are missing. So I don't know what to do about this. I'm really upset. I wanted to start reading this. So maybe I'm just gonna download the ebook, like see if I can read the first few chapters of the ebook and then read 
the rest of it maybe but at least i salvaged some of it kind of it's midnight and it's officially mom's birthday Woo! Shout out to uh, Jose Cuervo, tequila. Yeah. So right in here, baby. Yeah, right do it, do it. I don't Three, even know two, one. Don't sit. Woo! Shot it. Oh. Shot it. Throw it back. Oh, Woo! That's a slow burn. Oh damn. It's a good burn. How you did you what? do that? Because it's cold. When oh, it's hot, it's when it, when it goes down. It burns all the time. What are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> How do you feel? Fifty nine. You feel like it's your birth? Yeah. Well, good because it is. Woo! How old are you? 59. How many Whoa. fingers? 1959. How many Whoa, fingers? what up? <laughs> right, just She's gonna... Come on, I need, do it. I need water. No, you don't. No, there's water right here. Here. You're good. Water. I need some water. <laughs> okay. Woo! Do it. No, it's not. Let it. <laughs> do it. Oh do as much as you can. Do it when you're 21. Do it fast. Do it fast. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lime and a salt. Yesterday, my throat started hurting really bad, and I have this thing called GERD, and it basically just stands for acid reflux disease. It's like, I don't know, I got it when I was 17, and every couple of months, my throat just starts hurting really bad because I get really bad acid reflux, and then I'm just like miserable for a couple of days until my medicine kicks in. And so I started feeling like that last night, like my throat just started hurting really bad. And I was like, oh great, because it always gets really bad whenever I'm like really stressed out. Like I know stress is definitely what like makes it worse. I thought that was all it was last night. And now like waking up this morning, I kind of feel like I have a full blown cold. Like it's just all like in my nose and my head and just everything. So it's just, you know, it's fucking perfect. Like I'm sick again this year like I got sick this year in like January I think because I can't afford to get sick right now I have too much to do I'm staying in bed writing my essay that's due tomorrow it's a three to five page essay due tomorrow about girl with all the gifts I think I'm gonna do the mad scientist trope that's what I've been going with I'm just uh, super nervous and stressed about it, if you can't tell which is probably why I got sick so fucking cool I saw her leave dad said but you saw her go to didn't you Cora and you knew where she was going mama shook her head no I thought she was going to work, maybe, or to pick some balm of Gilead. You're lying to me. Phoenix got fixed yesterday, and she's doing so good. She had a surgery, and she's on painkillers. <laughs> she did so good. I'm so proud of her. It's just going to be really hard, because they said for the next two weeks, she's not allowed to jump or run, and it's been, like, really hard to try to, like, control her. So she already jumped onto my bed, right now so she's already not following the rules but babies hey oh cuteness Green. phoenix be living her best life <clears throat> you can't even tell that she just had surgery two days ago she's so happy <gasps> what was that good morning i had to call out of work today because I feel like shit and I hate calling out of work because like I rarely ever do it like only a couple times a year maybe but I just I hate to do it because I feel like terrible but I really like feel really sick still and I'm feeling very crappy but last night I did start this book The Humans by Matt Haig. I heard about this over on another booktuber's channel and she really loved it and it just sounded really interesting. It's like about this like alien that comes down to earth and he gets put into a human's body and then he's like writing this book like to his other alien friends so he's like kind of like making fun of humanity and like humans and it's just really entertaining i think i'm just gonna like lay in bed all day today and try to like read this whole book i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because this vlog has gotten very lengthy there's Fien. Fien is doing very well since her surgery oh, you can't even tell huh mm.
just wanted to mention that I'm really close to 7,000 subscribers, which is like fucking crazy to me. But if you guys are interested, I think I'm going to be doing a Q&A when I hit 7,000. So if you want to ask me any questions, I'll put a link in the description for my Ask FM where you can like ask me anything if you want to. And yeah, that would be super cool if you could send some questions my way. I would super appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys next time. I've been